Hi, I'm Randy Vance. You know, running a boat like this is a great way to get your feet wet in the sport, so to speak. Whether you get your boat from a livery, like where we got this one, or from an online service, chances are you're fairly new to the sport. Now, some states require rental boaters to take a boater safety course. Some do not. Either way, you may not be up to snuff on the latest safety rules. If you are, this is still going to be a great refresher for you. The first thing to do when you step on board is check out the life jackets. Make sure they're all in good working order and there's one that fits everyone. Keep in mind that every child under 13 years of age must wear a properly fitted life jacket. Always make sure the new skipper connects the safety cutoff switch to him or herself at all times when the boat is running on plane. Never ride on the bow of a boat or the swim platform. Always make sure no one is near the propeller when starting the boat. Another common mistake that can be quite a safety hazard is failing to retrieve the anchor before taking off. Always retrieve it and safely stow it. The main rule of navigation on which all the others rely is to maintain a safe lookout. Always keep your head on the swivel, looking around to make sure you know what's going on around you. If you only learn one rule and practice it, practice maintaining a safe lookout. In almost every accident citation, failure to maintain a lookout is cited as one of the chief causes. There are three other boating navigation challenges to learn and practice, and they work hand in hand to keep you safe. Boats crossing your path from your right or at near right angles have the right to pass ahead of you. If they don't, you have the obligation to avoid colliding with them, which you could do if you were maintaining a safe lookout. Boats passing from your left are obligated to pass behind you. If the other skipper doesn't follow protocol, give way and let him pass safely. Boats meeting at a head-on orientation should each alter course to the right to pass port to port, left side to left side for landlubbers. The course adjustment should be timely and obvious enough that both parties are aware of the intent of the other party. Overtaking a boat is a maneuver that should seldom be undertaken, especially in a narrow channel or river. But to pass a slower boat, you should signal your intent with two short blasts of the horn and await a signal return. In reality, few boaters recall the signal and fewer use them, even though they should. Overtaking a boat that is unaware of your presence is inviting a collision, so signal. Knowing and executing these rules will make you a safer boater than most others on the water. Executing them while maintaining a safe lookout will ensure that you can avoid a collision when other boaters don't comply. Docking a boat is not easy for the beginner. In many cases, they apply driving rules to docking procedures, i.e. accelerate into the garage, tap the brakes to keep from hitting the front wall. There are no brakes on a boat. But if you approach the slip slowly enough, using reverse gear can slow and stop the forward progress. The best rule to avoid hitting the dock is never approach it any faster than you're willing to strike it. The other big difference between driving a car and driving a boat is that on a car, you have lines on the highway to separate traffic. On a boat, you have to comply with the rules to do that. There are aids to navigation, which you should learn in your area. Typically, inland waterways will have white buoys with orange marks on them. A diamond mark indicates a hazard. A circular mark indicates a no-wake zone where you need to slow your speed down. A safe return to the marina is often marked with a red buoy. You should keep the red buoys on your right when you're returning to port. There'll be green buoys on the other side. Keep those on your left when you're returning to port. Old skippers have a rule, red right return, green going out, meaning keep the green ones on your right as you're leaving port. Boating is a great sport, lots of fun. Renting a boat is a great way to get into it. And these few simple rules will make you a better skipper than most of the guys already on the water. I'm Randy Vance.